Okay, so today we are going to talk about Source Connect, and it's the perfect time because I'm about to use it for a session in about an hour. So I recently made a video about how to prepare for your first live directed session. And I mentioned Source Connect as one of the platforms that you might use. Now, you typically only ever need Source Connect for projects that you get through your agents. And a lot of the time when you sign with a legitimate agent, they will require that you use Source Connect because that will give them the most high quality files and enable them to use an audio engineer from the moment of recording all the way through to the mixing and mastering for their clients. So um, I've never had a client not through an agent that has used Source Connect. And every single time I've ever used or done a project through my agent, I've always used Source Connect. Now I have a couple opinions about Source Connect. It's not super user friendly. Even downloading it and activating your license and getting through all of that is kind of a nightmare. Um, so if you guys ever want a video on how to log in, register, get everything set up, then let me know and I'll see if I can make a video on that as well because it's not fun to work through. But once it's set up, it's super easy to use. And um, basically the producers on the other side of the call are tapping directly into your microphone and getting the highest quality audio possible as if you were in a professional studio with them and they were on the other side of the glass. Okay, so when I use Source Connect, I plug in my Ethernet cable directly from my modem because having very high speed, reliable internet connection is crucial for these live directed sessions. Um, I don't record any of the session on my end. I know that there is a recording software. I think it might be Pro Tools. Who knows? It might be Adobe Audition, which I do use that integrates with Source Connect and allows you to record on your end as well as the audio engineer to record on their end while they're tapping into your microphone. A lot of recording software doesn't allow for this. It doesn't integrate with Source Connect. So that means that when I'm on Source Connect and it's connected, you can see the bar up here moving around from my microphone. When it's connected to my microphone, my microphone can't also connect to my recording software unless I figure out the integration and figure out what platforms it works with. I don't need to do that because their audio engineer is recording everything I'm doing on their end. So it really is one of those situations where I'm just the talent. I show up, they help me set my gain, which is the only thing I need to do at the beginning of these sessions. And once my gain is set, I don't touch anything and we are good to go. And I just listen to them through my headset and it's like a live recorded session as if you were in a, a real studio or, you know, on location. What else do I wanna say? Okay, so that's more or less the technical aspect of it. The way that I'm preparing for this session is a little bit different than whenever I prepare for a session with a client on Zoom or something like that. So in terms of tiers, I would say Source Connect is the highest tier. You're gonna have more hired hands in on the project. You might have a director, you're gonna have a producer, you're working with your agent who usually isn't on the call, but uh, more people are getting paid, which means it's a higher budget production, which means that if you're using Source Connect, they also have hired an audio engineer on their end. When you're doing a Zoom session, you typically are the audio engineer. Um, you are recording everything on your end and chances are they don't have an official director or producer. They just have, you know, your client and your client's client on the line, something of that nature. So I'm a little less hands-on when I'm doing a Source Connect session because I'm going to assume that they do have a director on the other line. I know that they have an audio engineer on the other line. And a lot of the times you'll have uh, the client on the other line. So my session today is with Walmart. We're probably gonna have some Walmart representatives on the other line, literally just listening in and I'm speaking directly to the producer or director the entire time. So they're my point of contact. I let them take the reins. They're going to direct the entire session. So I'll let them tell me how they want the session to go, how we wanna do the recordings. And I just sit and wait for directions and I'm nothing but the talent as opposed to 
the Zoom calls, which I've mentioned in my other videos, where you're much more hands-on and you're guiding and directing the session yourself. So I'm just gonna show you how I'm going to prepare for this session. So, like I said, I'm gonna be more hands-off, so the only thing that I need to make sure I do is know my script and make sure that my Source Connect connection is good before I try to connect with the client and realize that something's not working properly and then it's kind of a show. Am I allowed to curse on YouTube? Okay, so here I am. I've logged into Source Connect. I've changed the driver to my driver. I know it's my driver because I use Audient, right? So this is my driver, which means that it's going to connect into my microphone and my speakers, the ones that I use. The sampling rate is 48,000, uh, which I'm fine with. I usually record at 44,000, but 48 is even higher quality. And if they ask for anything specific, I can change that right here. And uh, what I wanna do is I wanna test and make sure that everything is good on both sides, on the input side and the output side. So. You have these options right here. It says whether the person is online or offline. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be my client later. I think that they've gone ahead and added me to their contacts. But um, here's someone that I've worked with before. So you have your little contacts down here. If you want support, you can always try this. It looks like their support isn't online. But there's something called echo. And the echo is how you test your quality without anybody else on the other line. So this is Echo 44 Stereo. That means if the channel is stereo as opposed to mono, I'm recording in mono. And the, the number right here is representative of the Hertz frequencies that you're using. So I'm using 48, so I'd likely need 48 mono, which is right here. It's busy, so it looks like someone else is trying to test their audio quality at this moment. But what you're gonna do is, let's see. I guess we'll have to wait until it's online. Let's try one of these, maybe. This is one of my qualms about Source Connect. Why would they have a busy line? How many people are they supporting that it's busy? Is this like early 2000s? I don't know, Source Connect, but I'm not impressed. Okay, so here we go. 48 mono, connect. Once it's connected, this will turn green. This is turn my green. audio. This is my audio. You hear that echo? You hear that echo? Get it? It was called echo. Get it? it was called echo. So it's receiving. So it's receiving from my microphone. From my microphone. And then spitting it back. And then spitting it back. As if it was the person on the other line. As if it was the person on the other line. There you go. That's how I know there it's you working. Go. That's how I know it's working. Okay, let me disconnect this okay, so I can me... speak normally. Okay, so when I disconnect this, I don't want my speakers on, so I'm going to mute my speakers so all I hear is in the headphones. So when I'm speaking into the mic, it's not gonna be, you know, giving any kind of feedback or anything like that. So that's just how you stay safe. And they will always be quiet on the other end while you're recording, so it's fine to have sound coming through your headset. Okay, well, now I think that is everything that I wanted to say. Um, Okay, again, let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you guys later. Bye.